Once your dedicated astrophotography camera arrives, you need to make sure you get the appropriate software. That way, at the very least, you can do some troubleshooting and get your camera focused. So the first thing you want to do if you're on Windows is go to the ZWO page, go to support, and choose software. That is if you're going to be using a ZWO camera anyway. And then we have our native drivers here. This is what's going to allow your camera to communicate with your laptop. So make sure you download and run through this. Then at that point, you can plug in your new camera via USB cable to your laptop and it should communicate properly. If you're on a Mac, then you don't even need to worry about that. It should just be plug and play. That's step one is just getting the native drivers. Step two is to get some type of software. This is what's going to allow you to take photos and focus and everything else. ZWO recently released ASI Studio, which is a free download. You can do either a 32-bit version or 64. I don't even really recommend downloading it though. Let me show you why. I think there's much better free applications out there. And uh, here's ASI Studio. In the past, they only had ASI Cap, but they've recently expanded it with two new applications. We'll use ASI Image today. And the way this works very briefly is that you choose your camera, click the Connect button, and then you adjust your exposure here and the gain, and then you click Preview here and it's gonna take a photo. In this case, it's pure white, which means my exposure or the gain was set too high. If it was pure black, they wouldn't be high enough. I don't really like using this application, like I mentioned, but you can control your filter wheel and a lot of other things from here. But for me, I don't really like the interface, so I'm not gonna cover it really at all throughout the course. If you need something though, this can work as a starting point. What I'd recommend you get is one of these applications down here. So this is the cool thing that ZWO has actually shown you all the various applications you can use with your new camera. I'd recommend doing SharpCap. This is a great free application that'll work great with your new cameras. SharpCap here is just a free download. This is for Windows only though. And that's one of the problems if you're on Mac, you're missing out on a lot of different applications, but you can download it for free here if you're on Windows. Let me show you how SharpCap works. Really all you have to do is connect your camera via USB cable then go up to the cameras tab and then find it in the drop down list below. Hopefully you see it. I'm just using a little auto guider camera today and there we go. So we can actually see right now there's kind of a neutral gray image and there's some trees blowing in the wind. If I increase the exposure though here, the slider, it's pure white or it's pure black. So most of the time when you first do this, it's going to be one or the other. Just move the slider around until you can actually see something. Now I want to be clear here. If you just have your new camera and there's no lens or telescope attached to it, then when you do this, you know, it's not going to be able to see anything. You need some type of optic. We're going to need a whole nother video though, to explain that further. So I'm just walking you through the interface today. Uh, I don't really expect you to follow along that much. The main thing here again is the exposure and the gain. And as I move my little camera around, it's up on a tripod right now, you can see the cliffs and the treetops up there. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, but that's SharpCap. It's a very simple application that's going to allow you to, at the very least, make sure you're focused and that the settings are okay. One of the best features, though, if you're going to be using a laptop for a lot of your stuff at night, is it has a polar alignment tool. This tool will work if you have an auto guider, and it's going to allow you to do a very precise polar alignment. I've already got some videos on this here on YouTube, so go check those out for more information. But you will need to pay about $10 a year in order to access this feature. So you can find that on the SharpCap website uh, for SharpCap Pro. But the free version is a great thing, and uh, that's what I'd recommend starting off with. There's also PHD2. This is another great free application. This is going to make your star tracker much more accurate if you buy that auto guider and guide scope. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, very briefly, this is an auto guider. It's just a little tiny camera, kind of like the one we just bought. And here's a little guide scope that it'll plug into. So you just slide it in the back and then you start taking your photos. It's really that simple, uh, but that's an auto guider. I've already got videos on this on my YouTube page already, and we'll talk about this more in the future, but that's what I'm talking about when I refer to PHD2. So very briefly, here's the PHD2 interface. You click a couple of buttons down here and it, in most cases, it makes your star tracker go from maybe a 30 second long exposure before you see star trails to two, three, maybe even five minutes or longer without star trails. So this can really have a massive impact on your image quality. And I'd recommend looking into that more on my YouTube page. Finally, we have ASCOM drivers here. These are 
well, really there's the ASCOM platform. This is what a lot of astrophotographers use. There's all types of different hardware you can connect to this thing, and it's really powerful stuff. Unfortunately, my Skyguider Pro and the Star Adventure as well cannot handle the ASCOM platform. They're not smart enough, basically. So I'm not really gonna be focusing on this too much. There's a lot of other YouTubers that do use ASCOM and they'll have more information than I can. Uh, but like I said, I just don't have the hardware. So we're not really gonna focus on ASCOM too much. And that's really all there is to it. I mean, it's not that hard. You just need to get your native drivers. If you're on Windows, Mac, you don't even need to worry about it. And then you just need some type of free software to take your photos with. That's the big thing. You can try using the free ASI Studio. I would recommend though, getting SharpCat for free. And if you're a little bit overwhelmed, or maybe you just don't wanna deal with a laptop, or maybe you have a Mac, you know, if you're on a Mac, there's hardly any applications that you can use. So what I would recommend, regardless of what you're doing, is you get an ASIR Pro. And that's really what I'm gonna be using throughout the course, because with the ASIR Pro, you can do your image acquisition, you can do your polar alignment, you can do the guiding, you can control the filters and everything, all from a simple app on our smartphone. If you go to the Google Play Store or your App Store, you'll find the ASIR app, it's free, you download it. Once you get the ASIR Pro, this is gonna generate a little Wi-Fi network. You connect to it via your phone, and now you can do everything right on your phone screen. So for me, this is the way to go. Rather than having to worry about all these different applications and the different user interfaces and all that stuff, uh, for me, ASIR Pro makes things much easier. However, if you're just getting into this, then you should at the very least get uh, a, a Windows laptop with SharpCap and PhD2 at the, the very least. That way you can start off learning the basics on there and then eventually transition to an ASIR Pro if you wanna go that route. So that's all I have for you in today's video. It's pretty straightforward, not really much to get into. In the following videos, we're gonna talk about how to actually connect your camera to a telescope. That way we can focus everything and then we'll get much more advanced from there. So if you have a question, you can leave a comment and I'll see you guys in next week's video.